If you just started your private practice, it's more than likely that you don't know too much about the bookkeeping yet. There also may be some things that you may be wondering or things that you have heard and you're just not sure if they're true. During this video, I'm going to go over a couple of myths when it comes to bookkeeping and let's see if these are things that you currently believe in. If you're new here, my name is Jenna Andrada. I help therapists in private practice confidently DIY the bookkeeping and accounting for their private practice. Let's start with myth number one, which is that I need to hire a bookkeeper. So let me be honest, and this is coming from somebody that owns a bookkeeping firm, and I will tell you that hiring someone when you're first starting out is not necessary. This is true, especially if you're a quick learner and if you're trying to save money and if you're great with technology, you also want to make sure you're really good at researching and your research skills. Don't be afraid, though, to hire a bookkeeper or an accountant to review your work if you're not feeling too confident with it. But for the most part, with some training and having a mentor or somebody to guide you, it's not going to be a difficult task for you. I recommend reaching out to an accountant or somebody that will be able to kind of give you the ropes with everything or look into a course that specializes in private practice bookkeeping. Myth number two is that you need to use QuickBooks for your therapy practice. This is not necessarily true. If you're a solo practitioner and you're just getting started, a spreadsheet is going to work just fine, especially if you're still working a W-2 job and you're building up your caseload for a full-time private practice. It doesn't make financial sense to hire somebody on an ongoing basis if you do not have a lot going on. Make sure to look for a spreadsheet instead. I recommend doing this when you are first getting started before you have a complex financial situation. Look for a spreadsheet that is specific to your industry and that it generates financial reports. Sometimes I see therapists that do use spreadsheets, but there are no financials associated with it, meaning your profit and loss. By having both of those pieces together, the the bookkeeping portion plus the financial reports, it's going to help save you time and money when it comes to tax season. Make sure to check out the link in my description. I also have a spreadsheet that you could use that is a lot more cost effective than a, a QuickBooks monthly subscription. Myth number three is I'm not good at math. Well, the good thing is that you don't need to be good at math to be a bookkeeper. This is a huge misconception. Usually when I tell people what I do, Everybody tells me, hey, like, I don't know how you do it because I'm not good at math. And I will tell you, math is not my forte, but that's okay because we don't need to know how to like manually calculate it. We don't need to know super complex formulas to do bookkeeping. We do use tools like spreadsheets and QuickBooks and, and even calculators to do the thinking for us. When it comes to bookkeeping, we are more strategic with our data entry versus knowing how to do math. So we want to focus our resources to understanding what's tax deductible and what is not instead of thinking about, you know, the formulas and things like that, that don't really apply to our situation. So let me ask, are these things that you believed in? Well, I really hope this changes your mind a little bit about bookkeeping, what you need, what you don't need when it comes to starting your private practice. Make sure to check out the description. If you're looking for a spreadsheet to help you do your bookkeeping, it is specific to therapy practices and it does include financial reports with in that spreadsheet that automatically populates. Thank you so much for sticking around. I will talk to you next time.